So now we will do the resonance structure of nitrous oxide, N2O. Nitrous oxide, as usual, first we will draw the Lewis structures and then see how the bonding changes uh, for nitrous oxide. So uh, first let's draw the Lewis structure of nitrous oxide, N2O. As always, count the total number of balanced electrons. You have 6 from oxygen and 10 from nitrogen, giving a total of 16. And in N2O, both uh, either nitrogen or oxygen can be the central atom. Uh, we always prefer that structure in which uh, the central atom is less electronegative. And let's draw both the structures with oxygen as the central atom and nitrogen as the central atom. Both the structures are drawn there, but the structure with nitrogen as the central atom is preferred because nitrogen is less electronegative. So, uh, after the Lewis structure, let us draw the resonance structure. So, uh, looking at the Lewis structure of N2O, you can see that the skeleton structure has uh, does not have the octet complete for all the elements. The central nitrogen has only uh, 7 electrons. So what happens is, there is a movement of electrons as shown and uh, one electron from the nitrogen goes to the middle, same way with the oxygens also. The electrons move and uh, as a result you get a the triple bond, uh, a double bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen. And after the movement, the structure is shown as uh, over there. And calculating the formal charge, we get uh, negative one charge on nitrogen uh, and the one on the central nitrogen and oxygen gets a zero charge. So this structure has the octet complete and also has no formal charge. So this is the actual structure for nitrogen oxide and which can resonate as shown. The double bond can shift and uh, we can get a triple bond between nitrogen and oxygen like basically uh, the second structure with the triple bond between oxygen and nitrogen may not be very stable but as as the resonance structures can be one of the three structures shown over there. 